Hello, my name is Caden. This is for uh, for Life Adventure, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit more of a review as far as the uh, Breda Cougar. This particular one is an 8045 F variant. Um, I really like uh, the Bredas. I've I've owned uh, Bredas for about uh, 20 years, and I've been getting many comments and questions about the 8045 um, Cougar also. Uh, what I will say is that <clears throat> this is a Beretta Cougar 8045F variant. It is not a Stoger pro product. If you are going to be buying a Beretta product, um, you need to be cautioned that uh, some of the people who are fixing these guns are putting them back into service because they are starting to rise in price again just because of, of gun availability and and Ruger is a million units behind. Glock is like 600,000 uh, behind. Um, and it just goes on and on. You can't really get CZs. And uh, trying to find certain models of Berettas are, are, are kind of difficult also. So what uh, people are doing is that they are fixing their Berettas and putting Stoger parts in, into it. And l let's just face it. When when these were brand new, they're $600. And when you can buy the same version with uh, Stoger, they're going to be about 400 or 450 so they're going to be using lower quality products. I'm not saying that Stoger isn't a good product. Um, I'm just saying that they're using cheaper uh, uh, materials for the same handgun. So if you are going to go after a Beretta um, Cougar, whether it's the 8000 series, the 8357, the 8040, um, the, 8, the 8045, um, whether it's the D variant, the L variant, the F variant, and um, I'll just go over them real quickly. I don't think there's any G variants, so I won't I won't discuss any G variants. The L variant is, is is simple. If you ever see an L variant, it's basically going to have this much of the handle taken off. Everything up up here is going to be the same, but it's more designed for concealed kind of a carry. You're going to be losing some magazine capacity with that. Um, so that is the L variant. The, the D variant is a double action, where it's a double action only kind of a scenario. Um, and the F variant is going to be single action, double action, with um, a safety and decocker. Um, um, so those are going to be the, the different variants. Um, for the people who, who don't know, and this is going to be the same whether it is um, the Cougar series or the Beretta series, and I, I must admit I am not familiar with uh, Stoger and, and, and their variants. It's just something that Stoger in California is not, you cannot uh, sell those handguns unless it's a, pri a private party kind of a situation um, in the state of California. So uh, all I have, I, I've never shot a Stoger. Um, the eighth, and when I do this review, it's going to be the same for uh, the Breda Cougar 8000, which is the nine millimeter, the uh, the eight um, the eight three five seven, which is a three fifty seven Sig, the eighty forty, which is a forty Smith and Wesson, and the eighty forty five, which is a forty five ACP. When anyone does any reviews of that, it's going to be about basically uh, the same. There's not going to be any difference between between it. Um, basically, going over it. This particular one, I think, is a 3.8 um, inch barrel. I think the smaller rounds are going to be 3.7. That you know, don't nail me on that, but it's basically going to be smaller uh, as as you go down. Um, and this particular one, the, the aeronautics of this particular one is going to be a little bit bulky. So if you have smaller hands, this is not going to be a, a, a very good gun for you. The today's model of the um, the, uh, the the Storm, the PX4 Storm, and that's the model that replaced this one, does have back straps that will fit your hand a little bit uh, easier. Okay, Obviously, you're going to see um, this is the safety in the decocker. So if you are uh, fully de uh, out when you're charging it, all you do is bring it down, and it will be decocked. It will be de de decocked all the way to uh, the firing pin. What happens with this these particular models, and... Uh, except for the Beretta Inox, which is having a lot of problems um, with the decocking, is that the decocker actually, and I don't know if you can really see it in there, if the light will allow it, 
But once you are pressing the decocker, the fire, oh yeah, you can see it a little bit. The fire pin will get out of the way. So anyone who knows what is actually going on with this, uh, this firearm is going to realize um, that scenario, okay? Uh, magazine capacity, they're going to be different from the L variant to all the uh, the millimeters, and I just won't get into it. Um, um, and it's going to be different from California compared to the rest of the nation. Uh, breakdown is going to be extraordinarily um, easy. All you do is uh, press this, the, this uh, button right here, and then there's going to be a lever yeah, a lever right here that you just press down and you slide it forward. When you do slide it forward, what I always do is I always bring my thumb over here. Put it in the camera, Caden. Uh, when you slide it forward, I always put my finger here because this will pop out, okay? It's going to be a little bit uh, different of a style that you're, you're, you are normally used to where this is actually a rotating barrel where it will take a little bit of the recoil and torquing out of it, okay? So this is going to be your block and, and your, um, your guide rod. And uh, suffice it to say is when it does uh, kick back and forth, you're going to be having uh, this little nodule right here that is going to be guiding this right here. This is a rotating barrel, okay? Um, you can kind of see it slide in here and then it wiggles back and forth. You see that? So when it's, it's firing, it's going to be taking the, the recoil and the torquing out of it. Um, this is good and bad in, in various aspects. If you are, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, weaker in, in recoil, um, this particular one is an 845F and this one shoots always to the left with me. Um, and I think it has more to do with the, the rotating barrel than anything else. Um, so what the rotating barrel will also do is that it will decrease muzzle velocity. I'm not exactly sure um, uh, how much, and then it will also take the spin, a little bit of the spin, out of the bullet itself. Um, so it's going to be highly, um, um, if the wind is blowing a little bit uh, heavier, it's going to be uh, not being able to um, hold this path, unlike a, a normal spinning um uh, bullet, so it's going to be about six in the hand, uh, one or the other. So those are the basic uh, um, components with this handgun. This is one of those guns where I, you know, I just love not just because it's a Beretta, but um, because of just how it is it is made and feels and built. And it's going to be a little bit more on the heavier side, but it's just something that I will love. The one thing I will say is the difference between um, this is a going to be a slide mounted uh, safety, and uh, let me see if I can get this in here real quick. Sometimes I can do it quickly, and sometimes I can't. Okay. Um, the uh, putting it on is basically just as uh, simple as um, what you see.